Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into OTRAM's YouTube channel. Um, continuing with the theme of more basic maintenance kind of videos, we're doing an oil change on a 2018 Tacoma with the 3.5 liter V6. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is get the oil drain pan, because I forgot to bring that under here with me. Now that we've got our drain pan under here, we can take this 14 millimeter drain plug loose. I just crack them loose and then I've got this flexi magnetic drain plug remover from OTC that I'm going to need to loosen this a little bit more to use. Well, you know what? Normally, <laughs> normally this works awesome. Um, this one's being a little stubborn and doesn't want to spin free, so we'll do it the old-fashioned way and just get oil on me. And I just saw the drain plug gasket fall in the drain pan, but always double check that it's not still on your drain plug or up here on the bottom of the oil pan. I'm going to clean this off and let that drain. And while the oil pan's draining, we're going to take the skid plate off so that we can get to the oil filter that's up here. There's two 12 millimeter bolts up here at the front. They're kind of hard to see because the rubber lip goes under them. But there's two here at the front. And then there's two here at the back of the skid plate. And this skid plate's always a bear to pull completely out because the way the hangers sit with this rubber under it. So I just kind of pull it back out of the way so I can get up to here to the oil filter. And once the oil's done draining, I'll move the pan and I'll show you that. So we're down to just a dribble. So we're gonna take our new Toyota drain plug gasket, stick it on the drain plug, stick it in the drain hole. Then that gets torqued to 30 foot pounds. There we go. And then up here, we've got the actual oil filter itself. And the first thing we're gonna do is take this aluminum drain plug out. And it's gonna drip when you take that out. And there's an O-ring that sometimes comes out with it or sometimes sticks up there in the groove. I set that down there. When you buy a factory Toyota filter, it comes with this little insert that you stick up in here and push up. Actually, I'll just show you. Like that to drain out what's in the filter. I normally use it's an adapter with a hose on it um, it makes it cleaner you just let that drain and then when that's down to a trickle you can just pull that fitting out and now we need to take the canister itself out and you're gonna need a special wrench for that I really like these click wrenches that come from Amazon um, they fit the end caps really well. I've never had one slip. Um, and you pull it out like 
So, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. I eh, will just pour it out. So the filter cartridge comes out of that piece. I'm gonna go clean this housing off and then I'll show you putting it all back together. Okay, so I've cleaned, I sprayed the housing out with brake clean uh, to get, you know, any residual out. Be careful bumping this metal tube in the middle. That's the uh, bypass valve. And if you mess up the spring loaded on that, you need a new cap. Um, and then you'll see down here at the bottom, there's an O-ring. And we'll just peel that guy off. And then the kit comes with a new one. We're just gonna kinda roll it down on here. And then right at the base of the threads, there's a groove where this O-ring goes in. We'll take our new filter, pop it in there. We're gonna take some oil that's in the old housing and just lubricate that new O-ring. And start that in there by hand. And then once that's started by hand, we can go back with our ratchet. And what's really nice about these click wrenches is there's a built-in torque limiter in them when you get to the proper torque for the filter. So it just kind of gives a little break away and then your torque. Um, if you don't have one of these, it's 25 Newton meters. Um, you just want to make sure that you're torquing that because it's real easy to mess up those housings. I'm going to spray a little brake clean up there. Just clean that O-ring groove out because I had the wrench back on there when I was cleaning it. And then there's another new O-ring that comes in the kit. We're gonna stick that up there in that groove. And we're gonna thread the little drain plug back in. And then the little drain plug gets torqued to 13 foot-pounds. I think technically it's 12 and a half. But we go, we'll hit that with 13. And then I'm gonna leave the skid plate down for now because I'm gonna fill it up and run it and then check for leaks. Okay, so now we can go ahead and fill this back up. So here's our fill. Unthread that. I've got these fancy spill-free funnels that make it easier if you don't need them, but they're pretty cheap on Amazon. They're like 20 bucks if you're gonna do this often. And then let's see if I can, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed, but we're gonna turn the key on. Actually, I might be able to if I set you here. And we're gonna make sure that we're on the regular odometer. And turn the key off. And we're going to push the odometer reset switch in while we turn the key back on and hold it down and you'll see the odometer start blinking and when that's done blinking and goes back to zero we've reset the oil maintenance light. Now we can start the truck up. And we're gonna let it run for a few seconds, circulate oil, build pressure. And now we're all done. 
So all I've got left to do is I'm going to recheck the oil level, make sure we're still on the mark, and I'm going to go underneath, make sure we don't have any drips, and button that skid plate up. It's just the four bolts that go back in. I'm not going to bore you with showing that. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.